French brand Time have launched a brand new aero road bike called the Skylon at Eurobike, replacing the ZXRS. The Skylon is one of a number of bikes available with Time's new active fork, which integrates a sprung weight into the fork leg to counteract road vibrations. Look say that the new 795 Aerolite integrates all of their latest technology. It has tubes built to NACA airfoil profiles to minimise drag. It comes with a stem that flows almost seamlessly into the top tube, a front brake that's integrated into the fork, and a rear brake mounted behind the bottom bracket. Canyon's new Air Road CF SLX was first used by Team Katusha in this year's Tour de France. It borrows heavily from Canyon's Speedmax time trial bike using a modified version of the Trident tube profile and a one-piece bar and stem. The underside of the stem has a small recess where the Shimano Di2 or Campagnolo EPS junction box can be fitted, keeping it out of the airflow. With the same frame as Cervelo's existing R3, but a new fork and Shimano 105 group set, the newly launched R2 becomes the Canadian company's most affordable road bike at just under £2,000. Cervelo claim a sub 1 kilo frame weight for the 56cm model, and touches like carbon fibre dropouts contribute to the low weight. The new San Remo 76 is a high performance road bike, long and low for racing. The frame is made from two grades of carbon fibre with a full carbon fork. A tapered head tube combined with an oversized BB86 press fit bottom bracket to deliver the high level of stiffness a frame like this requires. De Rosa's new King XS is elegantly proportioned with a slender fork and skinny seat stays. The frame, constructed of three different types of carbon fibre, uses a BB386 press fit bottom bracket and a tapered head tube. One of the most noticeable features is the adoption of direct mount brakes. These use a pair of bolts that thread directly into the frame or fork, instead of a conventional caliper that uses a single mounting hole. 